I'm going to do a um, quick animation video in Photoshop here just to show you what um, features are um, provided for the user, which is pretty um, amazing. You can create an animated GIF um, in Photoshop, and I'm doing it using our event poster. This is one that I created um, for another course, but it also shows um, some of the basic things that you might include in your event poster, like an overarching concept, um, a call to action, where to actually point the user in a certain direction to find um, your event that will be um, happening. Um, it lacks a little bit of what the project requires, but follow along because this is based on animation and I want to show you sort of um, how to create animation. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to a workspace that supports motion. So go to Window Workspace Motion. And what will end up happening is you will get a timeline that posts below. Um, you can do your timeline this way, which lists everything, but I don't like working that way. I like to work with the buttons. It just is more linear for me. So whatever works for you. However, um, I had to create graphics um, on different layers, which makes it easier for me. Um, you can do it in multiple different ways, but I did this so that when my animation moves, I will be turning off and on the visibility of certain graphics and applying them to my timeline. So I'm going to start out by um, selecting what I want visible for this initial um, number one in my timeline. Um, this tells you how long this will actually show. You can um, say forever, you can say three times, once, other. You can apply different um, fields to each one of your frames. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the mouse visible because I want that up here for now. My project is Swap Mouse for Pen Project. Um, it's event to come, so that's um, coming near to a theater New Year's, near you, so maybe I, this is posted somewhere up in the college or just as a little um, sneak peek teaser poster. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I add another frame, and that is done down here um, by just clicking on another frame. Now, for this frame, I'd like to then go ahead and have my pen show up. Um, real simple, nothing real fancy. I just want to, my pen's going to move in and move my mouse out of the way. So this one is on for five seconds. I really don't want it on for five seconds. So one of the things I can do is customize that. Right at the bottom of the frame, you can move that to like um, maybe 0.5 seconds, that seems to be about right. Okay, and that's my frame. I'm going to then create um, another frame. And you have a tween option here. Um, tweening allows us to change the shape of certain objects, so you can explore that a little bit more in Chapter 18. I'm not going to get into that in this video, but um, that is to the immediate left of um, duplicate selected frames. So this third frame I'm duplicating because there's a lot of common layers that I want to show up, but I am going to then hide some of these as I move forward. So the pen then showed up in my second frame. Now I want that pen to be invisible because it's going to change to nudge my mouse out of the way here. And then I believe my mouse also changes for that frame. So there we go. So now this is starting to nudge my mouse out of the way. And I can do that. I'd rather that be held for about a second. Now I'm going to create another frame based, a frame copy based on that initial frame, on this, um, the third frame here. And then I'm going to then decide which ones I want to be visible. Um, the next thing that happens is the pen moves in. I'm going to delete that pen, and I'm also going to delete, uh, make unvisible that mouse because I now want the mouse to kind of fly away. 
okay? That's the third thing, or the fourth frame, and then we're going to do another frame copy. Um, I forgot. The second, I kind of like a second. It gives the viewer a moment to see something, so I'm going to leave that as is. The fifth frame, I'm going to go ahead and my mouse is now going to leave. Okay, I'll keep that for a second, then I'll make another frame. And then I believe the pen moving in is just fine, but I have created a final pen um, position that I like. That's going to also be there for, let's see, let's, I'll keep that at a second also. Okay, so now we have our frames, and you can actually go ahead and play these frames from the start. Um, you can keep doing it three times. So you can go ahead and play back that animation just by hitting um, this sort of forward button. It shows you what your animation will look like. And this is simple enough for me. I want you to get a feel for what is happening. When you look to the right, the layers that are visible shows you which layers I put visible and which layers I do not have visible. Um, so when you do play the animation um, from your GIF, that will actually be what happens. So the next thing we want to do is save the um, file as an animated GIF. So file, save for web. And we're going to keep it on GIF, selective, we're going to keep it just the way it defaults, monitor color, metadata, bicubic, we're going to preview it in our browser, see what it looks like, and then you've got your HTML happening here, and you can see the animation then starts. It happens quite slowly, but you can see it ends up happening in your web browser. So you can click out of that, go back here. Um, it looks like we'd have we can check out our list here of the browsers. You can add different browsers and then test them. That's a nice little way to make sure that they work. But go ahead and. Um, look at your looping options. I'm going to hit forever and then we're going to go ahead and save and I'm going to save that on the desktop so I know where it's at and you are done creating your animated GIF. Um, you can test it out just in a basic preview browser if you want. Um, it shows you the different steps that are here um, and you can also drag and drop it into Firefox if you want, it then um, will then show you exactly what happens in your web browser. And you can test it out if you like by opening different browsers and then opening the GIF. But there you are, there you have it, creating an animated GIF in Photoshop.